You are listening to Lone Star Community Radio on 104.5 KCZW LP Conroe and 106.1 KZCC LP Conroe and worldwide on IRLoneStar.com. Hello, everyone, and welcome to Monday at Noon. January 13th, 2020. So the guests today will be Carrie Hyman with Meals on Wheels, Montgomery County. Kevin Baker is the presenting sponsor for their upcoming Miles for Meals. And then we'll hear in the second half, Devery Johnson, who's the outreach coordinator at the Montgomery County Memorial Library System. I am Margie Taylor, your host for Conroe Culture News, 104.5, 106.1 out of downtown Conroe, Lone Star Community Radio. So, you know, January, it is January is really moving by fast you know i can't believe that last week was the first week everybody was back in and already we're ending january it's it's kind of weird so this show by the way is sponsored by roger stein chiropractic at 3033 west davis by conroe high school and taco bell thank you stacy rogers so bean punk coffee um in case you don't know they moved a year ago down by the co- down by the courthouse on the east side of uh, maine down that way and they are again doing their live streaming program wednesdays at two o'clock between friends with tina lockhart and you can walk in and possibly even be a guest on their show they're a lot of fun so if you need a place to meet with people in conroe uh, they have uh, free wireless internet of course they have great coffee and they're in there with the bakery vernell's bakery bayou bakery so you can get a sandwich or ice cream depending on what the weather's like but i guess ice cream good anytime so give that a try also it's clearance time in downtown conroe assistance league has 75 percent off on a lot of their merchandise whether it's home decor christmas items clothing stuff for the family anything like that and the wonderful thing is that they're a nonprofit and they give back to nine different programs in montgomery county so keep that in mind And uh, downtown Conroe is a music-friendly destination, and you can find live music any day of the week, seven days a week, starting with brunch over at Pacific Yard House on Sundays and the Red Brick Tavern. They will, Pacific Yard House will welcome the return of two black guys uh, this Saturday. And uh, Phineas Red plays at the Red Brick Tavern with Indie Rock. And... um, Corner Pub has uh, Deanna Wendelin and Josh Fuller will be at Pacific Yard House. So save the date for the Rising Stars and Legends of Texas featuring a tribute to local and statewide artists presented by the Greater Conroe Arts Alliance in downtown Conroe March 12th through March 21st. They will feature a black and white photo exhibit by Gary Watson, the Conroe Art League's fifth national Maidley Art Show. The Young Texas Artist Music Competition happens during that time and Best of Texas Variety Show Friday, March 20th, featuring Best of Texas Mexican, sorry, not Mexican, musician Marsha Ball and hosted by Robin Williams impersonator David Bourne. That should be a fabulous fun event and that will be at the Crichton Theater. And it wraps up Saturday with an array of activities between Founders Plaza Park and the new 202 Main venue. That venue will be opening up in the next month. It's on the corner of Main and Metcalf. And and it features a bar, an outside patio, and uh, lots of fun events. So if you're looking for a place to go, think of downtown Tech Conroe. So with that, we're going to go right into Meals on Wheels, one of my favorite nonprofit organizations because they do so much. So again, I have Carrie Hyman and uh, Kevin Baker's here from Kevin Baker's Real Estate. What's the formal name? Kevin Baker Real Estate Team. Real Estate Team. Okay, so I almost had it. (laughs) So uh, Kevin Baker is the presenting sponsor again this year. So Carrie, um, how many years have you guys been doing that? Any idea? This is our fourth annual. Fourth annual. And it happens in Conroe. It does. It's at B-52 Brewery. Um, It's been there every year. We're we're thrilled that they're hosting us again. Um, It's rain or shine, so we're we're going to be cold or, or whatever hot it is. or it whatever it is. Last, last year, it was, year but uh, yes, it was very cold. We survived. Last year. <laughs> we survived. Um, it's going to be beautiful this year. So of course it is. Yeah, it's going to be perfect. And that's on it. February eighth. February eighth. Um, check in starts at eight, and the race ends at noon. the the race The running part and the or walking if you don't want to run, since you told me you were going to walk. I am going to um, walk. I'm going to try. It we'll starts see. promptly at ten. <laughs> 
Um, so you have to check in and be ready before 10 and then um, everybody has to be off the course by 1145 and then everyone's welcome to stay and enjoy the afternoon at B-52. So the fun part is it's at a brewery, first of all. Yeah. First of all. So and everybody gets a complimentary two complimentary drinks. Two complimentary beers or lemonade, right. depending on what you want. Depending on what you want. You get a drink. You get a refreshing drink right. after the race or if you don't want to run, walk, stroll, whatever, you can have it during the race, I guess. Yeah. Yeah. You if know. you sign up but you register to run or walk <laughs> and then you decide I'm not gonna do that, that's fine. You can sit around and enjoy your beer. So you can still register. Can you register the day of? You can, yes. We prefer you don't. But yeah. <laughs> yeah, you can register that morning if um, if you just have this change of heart at the last second. We'll take you. Yeah. How many people participated last year? I think last year we had about 750 registered. That's a lot. It's a ton. Where that's, oh, that's almost max. That's pretty much capacity for us because um, at B-52, yeah. everybody that comes probably remembers the parking is it's a little, a little limited, yeah. But you've so. changed it up this year a little bit. We are making some changes this year to make it a little bit easier for um, for everyone, for the volunteers and for the racers. Um, yeah. You're going to have a shuttle service. We are going to have two of the Meals on Wheels buses um, shuttling from different parking oh, lots. Oh, perfect. Nice. Yes. So... If Eagle, you have to Eagles park Nest the, Ministries, you can park there too, right? We hope so. We hope so. There's um, those are typically the businesses right around there, the service right. king where where we try to park. There are some businesses near there that we do not want to park, um, but we've got a new plan in place, so hopefully it all goes smoothly. <laughs> so get there early and allow yeah. for parking. Allow but parking. it's a really nice venue. It's a beautiful venue. There's a lot. It's fun because you can bring your own chairs. They do have some tables and chairs, but you can bring your own folding chairs and plan to just hang out for the day. They have Jenga, like a giant Jenga, and they have ping pong and. Don't they have a giant checkers for, I don't know, like I, Connect I Four so. type thing or yeah. something? Yeah, and I think there's um, a, a fire pit. Outside. Yeah, I was going to so, say the yeah. fire pits were pretty that's, that's uh, nice. awesome last year because yeah. it was so darn cold. And yeah, they have a new <laughs> little indoor tap room that's great. Um, yes. There's more bathrooms now than there used to be. So that's a key point. It's key. Especially yeah. if you're Everybody drinking and mm-hmm. running right. and yeah. all that. And it's family friendly. People um, like to bring their dogs, even if they're on there a leash. There were a lot of dogs. Uh-huh. I was impressed by mm-hmm. that yes. last year as well. Well, yeah. there were dogs in the fire pits yep. that I yeah. remember. Yep. It's <laughs> Lots of dogs. So you can walk with your dog. You can walk with your dog. Walk, or run. walk a stroller. You can run. If you're competitive like Kevin, you can yes. race for time. It is a chip timed race. Um, so you can see how fast you really are for a 5K. This year we added a 10K, which is uh-huh. new. Um, for Kevin, the more... are you doing the 10K ah. or the 5K? I'm still, still deciding because I have the Houston Marathon this weekend. So, but I think uh, that's enough time to recover. So, f- so probably the 10K and the. Yeah. Okay, I think he should do the 10K. Yeah. yeah. So but, you can do either, and you can you can walk or run either one. Whatever you want. Whatever do. you want to do. Yeah. Just be there. Yeah. It Just come all out. Helps Bring your the kids. Homebound seniors. Yeah. It all helps the seniors. So Kevin, last year I remember you coming in. Um, I think you placed third. Something yeah. like that. Yeah, I believe that. it was third. So there was, it was a, it's a competitive race. Yeah, but and it is competitive. I, and I'm pretty yeah. competitive yes. running and sure. uh, also with the business. I get it. But yeah, it's a <laughs> and it's fun. It's it's a, a great cause. So you you know you you you, you know you can enjoy it. You can you know as like Marge says, you can walk. You can go fast. Competitive. There's awards. Um, you get a lot for your 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 value, but. It all goes to a great cause. So at Absolutely. The end of the day, you know, everyone wins. So you are the presenting sponsor of this. And I know that's really where your heart is, is Meals on Wheels. You do a lot of things to help them um, with their programming and contributing. So why did you decide to be presenting sponsor? Well, it, it just made sense because, you know, Meals on Wheels is um, an organization that I, uh, I feel strongly for, you mm-hmm. know, helping our seniors, you know, making sure the food and transportation is out there. And also being a runner, it just seemed like a, a perfect, fit. perfect fit. Yeah, it's a uh, good fit. And then you know, you add the beer component too. You know, it's a great, you know, great. It is quality beer, and and there's a lot of more, you know, aficionados than I am. But uh, you know, I, it, it's it's a pretty good quality, and they're very very uh, friendly, you know, customer friendly uh, company, and they're they're very supportive of the race and Meals on Wheels too. So I think it's it's just everyone coming together for a great cause. Um, and then just, you know, 
that time of year, it it's just works out pretty well. You never know what you're going to get in February as <laughs> yeah. far as weather. Pretty much January to April, it's kind of yeah. hit, hit and miss. Mm -hmm. Everything else is pretty predictable, but it could be sleeting, snowing, raining, no, no, no. hot. It can be <laughs> it can be whatever. Mm -hmm. I, I know, um, having run the uh, Houston Marathon many years, one time I ran with um, sleet icicles on my cap. Mm -mm. Yeah, but... You know, we're ordering up like a cool morning with the sun coming out. Yeah, cool. Okay. And then it gets a little warmer. Yeah, so maybe, I don't know, 60 or so. That would be good running be weather. Ideal. Yeah. Yeah. yeah no humidity, no 80 no humidity, yeah. no 90. No. It, it, that yeah. slows us down. Yeah. Yeah. So how many uh, registered uh, runners do you have right now? Runners, walkers, participants? Um, I think we're coming up around 300 right now. Um, we have um, plenty of spots available. Uh, the the price just increased on January 2nd, so it's now $45 for the 5K and $55 for the 10K. But like he said, it's a it's a good value for your registration fee. You get, oh, yeah. um, you get of course, your race T-shirt. You get a swag bag. Mm -hmm. um, you get your two free drinks, beers, whatever it is, um, and a souvenir pint glass, which will say Kevin Baker Real Estate on it. Nice. And, um, <laughs> What else? There's something. But else that's still good. Yeah, but that's it's great. great value. Yeah. And you're making a donation to Meals and it's on a donation. Wheels. And you're and you're having a good time. Yeah. Absolutely. Yeah. Will there be uh, food trucks? Yes, there, there okay. will be food trucks. So you can spend What your kind time. of food? Any idea? Uh, I don't know that they have them all reserved yet, but um I think there's a couple that one of them's a pizza truck and one is some kind of a um what was it last year? Like an Asian Cajun Asian. Cajun yeah. Asian. Cajun Asian. Is Divine Dogs going out there? I, I've asked if D Divine Dogs, I think that they were planning on being there. So, nice. Okay. Yeah. So there'll be well, a selection of food. Either there'll way. be a selection of food, and we'll have a DJ there with music. So it's, you know, it's just a fun day. It is. And you get up early, you get out there, yeah, bring the dogs, exercise, bring the kids. Get your exercise, and enjoy yourself. Yeah, it's a lot of fun. Um, it always is. I, I It's a good way to get out, start the year, is... You know, walking, running, exercise. Just get out. Just get outside. Mm -hmm. Yeah. You know, bring your dog on a leash. Mm -hmm. <laughs> yes, please. <laughs> on a leash, yes. And so if you do the shuttle, you can't uh, take your strollers or your dogs on the shuttle, just saying. That's right. You yes. know, just keep that in well, mind, You'll too. need to come a little earlier and park in the closer spots. So you have a packet pickup coming up. Packet pickup will be the Thursday and Friday before the Prior race, the, the race. 6th and 7th. Um, or, well, we added, a, we added a new little piece to the race this year, which is a peer-to-peer -peer fundraising. Yeah, let's so talk that, about that. Um, yeah, it's pretty cool. We were trying to just come up with ways that people who are getting involved because they love Meals on Wheels and they want to help us, what, what can they do that's easy to contribute and um so when you register for the race there's a link to start your own fundraiser it's very easy i did it myself um you just click on it and you create your own little page what you're doing and why and then you get a link that you can text or post on facebook for your friends and family to make a donation to support you so um and then it's a it's a competition so there's different levels uh depending on how much you raise with v some really great perks mm -hmm. um mm -hmm. some of which include like parking space like a premier parking space or a reserved table um getting to name a beer for the day after yourself or whoever See, that's cool that's yeah. super cool it could be a tailorized beer yeah. it could <laughs> yeah so you're gonna need to be the, the top fundraiser yeah. to get that yeah, perk. i need to get going on there yes yeah so but there's some um, there's um other great perks you um let's see oh i know the um if you raise $500, so that's not that hard to do. I mean, you could probably do that by sending out the link one time um, just to your fr your immediate friends and family. Um, you get a, an express lane pass for the bar. So you get to go to a different line that's not, because um, sometimes the bar gets kind of backed up. So you get you get a cut in line, basically. So yes, that's a perk. And I then nice. perk. you also get free registration after $1,000 for next year, for next 2021. Year. Yeah. yeah. And the top See, one. See, Kevin didn't even know that. No. I didn't know that. <laughs> See, he needs to start his page. Yeah, 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 right. I told I him. Know. He's like, you need to start your fundraising page. Mm -hmm. um, and then the top winner who gets to choose, the, they get all these things, plus they get to name the beer, and they also get two tickets to our next event, which is Cigars Under the Stars. So that's actually a really great um, value for that. And we're going to talk about that, too, in okay. just a few minutes. Uh, the Savannah Nights. Savannah Nights? Shanghai Nights this Shang time. Oh, sorry. Savannah Nights last year. It was year. last year. Mm -hmm. Yes. Yeah, so it's a different theme, but it's Cigar Under the Stars. So we'll talk about that. So who are some of the sponsors besides Kevin? 
Uh, well, some uh, we've had some great uh, returning sponsors. We appreciate Kevin coming back again this year um, as the presenting. Uh, we have Telogistics, um, Global Shop Solutions, uh, Halloran Advertising Agency, uh, Musali Law, RRC Medical, the Woodlands Dermatology Associates, um, Sterling Ridge Cosmetic and Family Dentistry, HEB, Dr. Travis Hurd, um, Pathfinder Home Health, Wendell Legacy Homes, Hotworks, and then we have Orange Theory, who is coming back again to lead the warm up. So That's they'll fun. be there to kind of get everybody loosened up, I guess, before they start. Right. Running. I remember Hotworks was out there too. Hotworks was out booth. there with a tent last year too. Yeah. yeah. Right. Yeah. So we have a lot of returning sponsors, but we still have sponsorships available, and we would love to have some new sponsors come on board and join us and kind of help us. So they can still come on board? Yes. At this yes, point? Yes. If um, There's different levels. You know, if you want your logo to be on the T-shirt, which I think is pretty cool because these shirts are really good. They're good shirts. They're not like those crunchy ones, you know. They're soft and people like to keep wearing them. Um, so it's a good place to have your company name on the back of. Um, the deadline for that will be this Wednesday. Otherwise. Um, I bet the biggest one says presented by... Kevin, Kevin Baker, Baker Real Estate. Yeah, it does. Team. It says it very nice. It's very big on the back. <laughs> that's yes. wonderful. Yeah. That, that's a really cool thing. They're great cool shirts. Thing. Yeah, I wear them. I don't know, Are they short around. sleeve or long sleeve? Short sleeve. They're unisex short sleeve shirts. Okay. They're very soft. I've touched them. Of course. Everyone's you have. very particular about these shirts. <laughs> they are. Yeah. <laughs> So tell me um, a little bit about, uh, again, why you sponsor, what uh, about your real estate team and all of that. Sure, sure. So, you know, I'm in uh, real estate. So I, I'm Kevin Baker, real estate team in the Keller Williams. And I, my business is helping buyers, sellers, and, you know, those looking to rental property so you investments. Do, you do both. Yes. Um, so you have Correct. a buyer's, are you a buyer's agent or a selling agent or whatever? Both, yeah. So okay. I have, have a good number of listings and helped a lot of sellers, uh, you know, get the most value for their home sold and, you know, have a very organized process and, you know, very, um, like, I, I, you know, I go to over the top with the, my marketing and, you know, making sure everything is you use a lot of social up, media, right. a lot that's of social good. media, Does that work really well for targeting. You? Yes. It, it works really well. Cause it helps, you know, that's where everyone is these days is on their phones or, you know. Absolutely. I read something uh, in Public Relations Society of America um, publication yesterday that by 2023, 80% of the entire population will be online. Wow. That's a lot. I mean, does that count seniors? I mean, I don't. Surely. Surely. I mean, mean, it counts everybody. And that's across the world. The world. That's a lot. So if you're not. If you're not online, if you're, not you're online, missing it. You're, you're, missing, you're, you're it. missing a lot. Yeah. So tell me about your team. How many people do you have on your team? Uh, so I've got a couple buyers agents that help me out. Mm-hmm. I have an assistant, um, and then just beyond that too, you know, I have a professional photographer and a videographer, so it helps with the, the oh, listing yeah. and presenting the property in the right right uh, view. Mm-hmm. I've got a couple um, companies I work with for IT and getting the, you know, the websites, going back to the online, oh, yeah. you know, making sure the buyers can go to the right portal and find everything and have the right information to them without easily you know, accessible, easily accessible. So do you have a home stager? I have a home stager as well. Mm-hmm. Um, Laura Landsman with the, uh, uh, a home staging a company that's in the woodlands, also part of the woodlands, uh, chamber, mm-hmm. which I, I'm a part of. And, uh, the business is not just necessarily, you know, woodlands or Conroe, but it's, you know, a lot of all of North Houston, including Tomball, Spring, Woodlands, Conroe, Magnolia, Montgomery, and uh, every so often, you know, in the inner loop, uh, depends, you know, uh, on the on the client and what what needs are. But uh, you know, I'm out there and ready and willing to help anyone. I've got a good support team, and and my my main thing is uh, being a part of the community. You know, it's it's about okay, what I can do, you know, in my way to help out. Um, and I, I focus on, you know, Meals on Wheels is mm-hmm. a, a big focus of mine. Another one is, uh, we're talking about dogs at the, at the race. Oh, yes. Helping dogs at the, the, shelter. Shel- the shelter. So we oh, do yes. a, lot of, a lot of work with the Montgomery County Animal Shelter. All right. Yeah. Well, the way I look at it, uh, you're in business because of the community. So you have to give back to the community. Exactly. exactly. Right? Because yeah. you exist because of exactly. them. Exactly. Yeah. So what can you do to give it back to mm-hmm. them? Yeah. And, and it's fun so, too, you know, just Of course, to, well you got to do what you're passionate exactly, what you're yeah. passionate about. Mm-hmm. You know, and uh, 
you can run with the dogs at Meals on Wheels. <laughs> there you go. See? Yeah. There you go. Yes. So uh, we're going to take a quick break, and then we're going to come back and talk a little bit more about Meals on Wheels and some of the other events you have upcoming and uh, how people can get involved. So I'm Margie Taylor, and it's sponsored by Roger Stein Chiropractic, and we'll be right back. Since 2004, Roger Stein Chiropractic has offered spine and joint manipulation services to residents of Montgomery County and surrounding areas. Conditions treated include lower back pain, migraines, headaches, whiplash, carpal tunnel, neck pain, sciatica, joint pain, sports injuries, herniated discs, and complications from pregnancy. Roger Stein Chiropractic, led by Dr. Stacy Rogers and Dr. Brian McGee, is an integrity verified chiropractic clinic. Call 936 441 9990 for an appointment or visit rogerssteinchiropractic.com. That's R-O-D-G-E-R-S-S-T-E-I-N, chiropractic.com. Did you know that there are over 153 million orphans in the world today? The sad reality is 99% of those kids will likely never be adopted. Core Love is an organization right here in Conroe that takes care of orphan children in Haiti, Honduras, and India. We bring the love of Jesus by providing their six basic needs of clean water, proper food, health care, education, job skills, and a loving home. Visit corelove.org. That's C-O-R-E-L-U-V dot org. Will you help defend the orphan? A Lone Star Community Radio is ready for the summer. If you or anyone you know is looking for summer internship opportunities, a Lone Star Community Radio is a great place to grab the mic and be on the air. The Lone Star Community Radio offers a great opportunity to those interested in learning about the radio world all year round. Be an on-air personality, talk show producer, or YouTube TV podcast editor. Contact the station at info at IRLoneStar.com or call the station's message line at 936-647-3776. We are back. I'm Margie Taylor, uh, Taylor SPR, Conroe Culture News, downtown Conroe. And we are at uh, Lone Star Community Radio, 104.5, 106.1. And this is live streaming on Facebook. And there will be a YouTube video of this a little bit later. And you can also go to IRLoneStar.com and see the show and other shows there as well. So we're talking with Meals on Wheels. And we're talking about the February 8th. Miles for Meals, 5K and 10K. You can walk, you can run, you can bring your dogs, you can stroll, all of that. Just go, just register. And so the website to register, Mm -hmm. uh, Carrie, I have that, but why don't you share that? It's www.mowmc.org. So Meals on Wheels, Montgomery County dot org. And you can just go into the header. It's right there on the front front, home page. But you can also go to the events and then tab down. But, Mm -hmm. you know, you have other events, too, coming up. But before we even change course and talk about that, let's talk about we talked about the race, uh, the packet pickup Mm -hmm. on that Thursday and Friday. But we didn't say where. So you have a new building that you're in. We do. It's very it's close to where we were before. So if you're familiar with coming last year it's not it's not too far from there but we are yes in our new home uh that's 111 south second street and that's right by the salvation army it's the old montgomery county food bank building that i used to work at (laughs) and it looks amazing so you'll have to go by there pick up your packets and uh, hopefully soon we'll have some kind of a grand opening over there but it's a it's a great building and this is your own building you the first time you've ever had your own building very first time and we're 45 years old so so it's uh it's a it's amazing and that's a great opportunity to go by when you do your packet pickup So changing course a little bit, let's talk about your also, you have an upcoming event, Cigar Under the Star, Shanghai Nights. Yes. So this will be our fourth annual Cigars Under the Stars event as well. And every year we change the theme. It's kind of where, where in the world are you going this time? And it's Shanghai Nights. And that will be at um, Blend Cigar Bar like it was last year. Um, it's a very on, nice venue. It was, it was beautiful. It was and really nice. Just wonderful people. Their staff was just 
um, it was went, very impressive. They are very impressive, very kind, and just went way over the top to to help us and make the evening really, really great. So, the food was great, of course, prepared yes. by your chef. We had some of the food prepared by our very own chef, John. Mm-hmm. Um, so you, it's kind of fun to sample what he makes and just to kind of meet him and see what what the behind the scenes looks like. But and he um, prepares the food for all the seniors. He does every every single day, and he makes. Pretty much all the meals are 100% from scratch. So very healthy, nutritious, delicious meals for our seniors in Montgomery County. And he was doing that like on one stove? He was doing that with one oven. One yes. oven? Yes. And so now you have... Now we'll have eight ovens. What a which, difference. Yeah. It's, what a difference. It's, yeah. It's, it's unbelievable. It's worth just the tour of the new kitchen. It is. To go see it's the new building. It's kind of cool to see if you've seen the old one. It's kind of neat to do the comparison of where, where he's been functioning and, and where he's going to get to be when, when we get the kitchen moved up here. But yeah, it's That's a exciting. wonderful new space. It's very exciting. Oh, now we can grow. Exciting. We can add, you know, we just basically need funding and we can add lots of people off of our wait list so that we can take care of more seniors. So right now, what? how many people are you serving? We serve about 650 right now, and we have about 111-ish on our waiting list, and we add an average of 50 people to the wait list every month. So the, the aging population in Montgomery County is the seniors, and we are the only nonprofit who delivers I'm creeping up there. meals. No, you're not. <laughs> <laughs> I'm not going on that one. <laughs> no. But, you know, it's... It, it, it's it the happens most, to it's all of us. the largest population. Yes. And the and the seniors boomers. who are on our service pretty much were born and raised in Montgomery County. They raised their families here. They worked here. They were teachers, librarians, veterans, um, you know, postal service people. I mean, these were just, you know, people who served their communities in different ways. And, you know, cha- things change as, as your families grow up and your kids move away. Sometimes you're just left with really no one to help you. And then you have some health issue that keeps you homebound, um, you know, how are you going to get a meal? How are you going to cook? How are you going to the grocery store? How are you getting to doctor's appointments? And that's what Meals on Wheels kind of fills that in for, for these people. It's a it's a wonderful organization. How old is your oldest senior? Oh, I don't know. I Like 100? 102 or something, I think. Well, I'm not over positive 100. right now. Yeah, yeah, it is over 100. Yeah. yeah we have amazing. 130 vets on service right now, uh, which I think is is really incredible. And you serve all of Montgomery County. Uh, weekday deliveries, they start at 1030 in the morning. Yeah, our volunteers come and pick up the food around 1030 and start out on their individual routes. And it takes an hour or two, you know, and then they, they come back. So so a 1,000 square miles, over a 1,000 square miles in Montgomery County. Mm-hmm. So it's just amazing. And you also do the uh, curb to curb we do. Transportation we, services. Yes. I think people don't realize when they see the Meals on Wheels buses driving around, um, what that is is transportation for our seniors. Um, we pick them up at their home and take them to medically necessary appointments for a doctor's appointment. Many seniors are on dialysis um, three times a week sometimes. Um, so these are it's kind of life-saving transportation that's a little bit, we feel like, a, a terribly kept secret for Meals on Wheels because it's um, a really important piece of the puzzle that we fill. Sure it is. Yeah. Sure it is. You know, it helps them stay healthy along with the food. Yeah, they want to stay at home. uh, Volunteer opportunities. Do you still need volunteers for the race, possibly? Yes, yes. yes. And that link will be on our website as well when you when you click on um, the race information. Yes, we need lots of volunteers for the race. Sign up for events, short term type things. It's a great time if you have kids who need service hours, they can come and help um, and and be a part of something great. Um, It's real easy to to come and Add some time, you know, a couple hours out of your Saturday to support something great and get some hours in as well. And then you also allow uh, kids and families to help on first and third Saturdays. We do. With the breakfast meal. With delivering breakfast bags, which is just an additional, um, basically it's an additional kind of a meal um, for seniors that is a 100% donation-based program. So we, we count on the community for donations and support for that program to work. But it's, it's a really important part um, because our seniors, oftentimes, you know, their lunch would arrive around 1130, but so they, they have medications. Yeah. They don't get breakfast. They don't get dinner. And they a lot of times have medications where they need to take something in the morning and at night. So this also serves as something that's shelf stable so they can save it in case, you know, they need something extra it's over the weekend. Supplement. It is. It's a supplement and it's really important and they and they do eat it. They love having these and um 
Well, it's just nice to be able to see somebody come to your yes. door. It's an extra you know? visit from someone on the weekend. It's just nice to have that relationship. Yep. It's an, it's a relationship and, I, and a safety check and yeah and some of uh, some of the volunteers really look forward to it and they get to really know the seniors they do they 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 make some strong bonds with each other which is which is wonderful for both sides and one other program I want to mention real quick is the Anna meals yes so Anna meals was a program that that sprouted out because our seniors were sharing their warm lunch with their pets because they didn't have pet food they didn't have any way to get it they didn't have any money for it they were having to choose between feeding themselves and feeding their pets so they started sharing um, and we thought well we're going over there anyways let's get them some pet that. food so yeah we we do um, take donations of dog and cat food there's some you know guidelines on what we can take um, on our website but we yeah we try to try to help those animals too. could you take any donations at the race event for breakfast or animals possibly um so donations food food uh yeah i would say we probably could handle that if um people wanted to bring some of the items that go in a breakfast bag that would be that would be great um we always or dry need... food for cats or dogs something well, like that yeah as long as it's in small bags we okay just, we can't handle the large bags um we the real big bags <laughs> those huge bags we no, can't, we no. can't lift them and we can't open them once you open right. them then you end up with a whole new set of issues so sure. we appreciate the smaller sizes um yeah so there it's, everything is on our website of what goes in a breakfast bag and what kind of the guidelines are for the animals i mean program. if you've got those shuttle buses working anyway you could fill them up oh we'll all fill our cars if we you know to. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> i mean We're, might might as well take advantage of an opportunity to collect yeah, get some more absolutely. food donations yeah we make jokes at meals on wheels that to to work there you have to have a big car <laughs> Because we Ooh, haul I'd stuff lose. around a lot. <laughs> Same here. <laughs> I have yeah. a clown car, so you can get a lot in there. <laughs> okay, so uh, website again is mowmc.org. It's very easy to Google Meals on Wheels. You can go to their Facebook page, see these events, and there will be a link to the website to register. So please do that. Follow them. See how you can hook in. Because you know what? Hopefully we're all going to be seniors, and I'm probably a little closer than a lot of people. So uh, anyway, anything else you want to add, Kevin? If you haven't registered, go online, register. If you uh, want to volunteer, volunteer. And uh, just to mention again, I'm the presenting sponsor, Kevin Baker, Kevin Baker Real Estate. And any questions, reach out to me, kevinbakerhomes.com or 713-417-7907. And I hope to see you at the race. Five-minute miles. <laughs> we'll, see. we'll see what we can do. Ooh, that's aggressive. <laughs> okay, February 8th. Thank you, and we'll be right back in just a few minutes. Thanks, Mark. Thank you. workshop provides unbiased information to help you understand your options and move forward with your life. This divorce workshop is for you if you are contemplating divorce, in the process of divorce, already filed for divorce, or post-divorce. You will explore the emotional, legal, and financial aspects of divorce from professionals who have guided others through divorce. For more information on this divorce workshop, contact secondsaturdaywoodlands.com or call 832-375-0900. Since 2004, Roger Stein Chiropractic has offered spine and joint manipulation services to residents of Montgomery County and surrounding areas. Conditions treated include lower back pain, migraines, headaches, whiplash, carpal tunnel, neck pain, sciatica, joint pain, sports injuries, herniated discs, and complications from pregnancy. Roger Stein Chiropractic, led by Dr. Stacy Rogers and Dr. Brian McGee, is an integrity-verified chiropractic clinic. Call 936-441-9990 for an appointment or visit rogersteinchiropractic.com. That's R-O-D-G-E-R-S-S-T-E-I-N chiropractic.com. A Lone Star Community Radio is looking for those who are interested in hosting their own talk show with monthly and weekly slots available on Conroe's FM 104.5, 106.1, and on IRLoneStar.com. Start your own podcast, create your first YouTube channel, and be on TV. Contact Lone Star Community Radio online at IRLoneStar.com or 
call the station message line at 936-647-3776 to take your first step into the radio world. Hey guys, this is Connor. This is Dick. This is Chris. And we're with the Ticket Stub Podcast every Thursday live at noon on 104.5 and 106.1 FM in the Conroe area. Also, anytime at IRLoneStar.com. You go to IRLoneStar.com backslash TTS. You can find all of our social media. And don't forget, we give away two tickets to the Grand Theater on every show. If you like movies and you like complaining or celebrating anything that has to do with the silver screen, check out the Ticket Stub Podcast and join us every Thursday at noon o'clock on Lone Star Community Radio. And we are back. I'm Margie Taylor, and this is Conroe Culture News at Lone Star Community Radio, downtown Conroe, FM 104.5, 106.1. And this show is sponsored by Roger Stein Chiropractic at 3033 West Davis in Conroe. So the second guest today is Devery Johnson, and she is the outreach coordinator of Montgomery County Memorial Library System. Devery has been on here numerous times before yes. so she's going to talk about her new programs that she has in 2020 some existing programs things for kids seniors everybody everybody can go to the library and do something even if they're little they can go to storybook time right that's right um uh so so it's great to talk to you how have you been i haven't seen you in a while busy <laughs> everybody's busy yeah everybody's busy uh, okay, well, um, so I have three kind of story times I wanted to talk about. The first one is Baby and Me. It's Thursdays at 10 a.m. at the Central Library, and it's age birth to 18 months. Aww, so um, the little ones. Yes, the teeny tiny ones. <laughs> uh, the parents have to go with them. They can't oh, yeah. drop those off. <laughs> <laughs> and um, mostly they um, they do finger play and music oh. and snacks, and uh, the parents come and uh, they read to their kids. And well, that's a good way to meet other parents too yes. you know yes. socialization with the little ones yes we well. also have a, a new thing we got a grant for a family place and what that is is it's got um, um where kids can play and um and parents meet there for for um for like what is it play dates now they meet in our, our library inside for play dates so there's like um, buckets for puzzles and buckets to build your dolls. We've got a carpet where you can drive your car around, and um, wow. there's a stove. And oh yes, it's it's fabulous. <laughs> <laughs> I bet you love it. <laughs> I, do. I do. It's a self-directed program, so anytime they show them, we we mark them down. And hmm. uh, then, um, but we had to put a thing in there like 30 minutes before we close. They have to put it away. So, okay, those, there's were, rules. Yeah, those, <laughs> there's rules at the library. We have a lot of bleach, so we just take care of that. Okay. The next story time is toddler story time. That's also on Thursdays at 1030, not at 10, but at 1030. And it's a 45-minute program for 18 months to 3 years old. And they're filled with books and flannel boards. Remember those flannel boards? Stories? I liked flannel boards. They're fun. Um, finger yeah. play, songs, that sort of thing. And then on Wednesdays... Um, we have prequel sto preschool story time, and that's ages three years to six, and it's usually from August 28th to May 13th. So um, we don't do these toddler story times during summer reading because we have all sorts of other programs to go on with that. Including summer reading. Including summer reading. So there's so much more than just reading a book at the library. Yes, yes, we have a lot, yes, and we listen to our patrons and what they really want from us, and that's why we have e-books and e-audio books, and I've had those since 2007. I'm excited I just got a library card again. again? I, I, <laughs> apparently, it was uh, out of service for probably at least 10 years, if not longer. And I'm like, oh, my gosh, I didn't really. And I think I owed a dollar or something. So I'm up to date now. So I'm ready to go on all your new programs. Okay, excellent. <laughs> yes. All right. Well, so so um, for February, it's uh, Black History Month mm -hmm. and, and other things. And so I wanted to tell you some programs that we have for adults that um, that they might like to come with their brand new sparkling library card and come to the <laughs> <laughs> that'd be me. <laughs> so um, Black History Month is going. Uh, we're going to celebrate. It's called King Rhythm Voices from the Past, and um, she's been here before. She's an actress and a soprano singer. Her name is Hope Shivers, and they're from Young Audiences of Houston. And so we booked them, and uh, and also she brought percussionist David Keepman on a fantastic ride through African American history via popular musical styles. So they're gonna 
act that out and do music blues and jazz and but the best part for me is uh people are going to be able to dress up in different costumes and participate where do they do this in one of the rooms yes the large meeting room at the central library on the, and it'll be oh, at the entrance there where that meeting room is. That's too small. It oh, needs to be okay. back past the bathrooms. Oh, yeah, okay. When it was about 150 people, we usually wow. get 40 to 60. So there is no more shh. Oh, <laughs> <laughs> well, for this, um, uh, well, and actually the room is right underneath the computer lab, so they would definitely hear it. So um, before the program, I go up and I give them an announcement that they can come down and join us or come back in an hour. <laughs> but for that hour or so, it's going to be loud and be prepared. It'll be fun. It was. It's going to be a blast. And uh, they're going to have light refreshments. It's February 22nd at 1 p.m. So, okay. So Saturday afternoon. So will you put events of these things like on Facebook that can be shared? Yes, they'll be on Facebook. And um, at countylibrary.org is where our events are. You it's can a great website. Yes. Yeah, so any branch you happen to like, you can go to any any um, any other programs. So... So that's that one. That's fun. That's yeah, going to be fun. I'm still shopping for food. So, <laughs> <laughs> you know, healthy, not healthy. Got to get a nice balance of that. Right, right. <laughs> <laughs> but not dinner. Okay, it's not going to be lunch. It's just going to be snacks. Snacks. So, yeah. Okay. So it should Finger be Finger food. Yes. So what else you got going on? Okay, well, um, I had, uh, so we are doing two computer classes um, in our computer lab in Spanish. Oh, it's going to be all in Spanish, not, not in English. It's a, uh, it's um, February eighth on a Saturday from ten a.m. to twelve noon, and on February twenty second also on a Saturday at ten a.m. to twelve noon. You need to share this with Maria. Yeah, oh, I have. Okay, okay. <laughs> and um, so what happens is, is Conroe ISD and the other school districts like to communicate via email, and not everybody knows about email. So we teach that in Spanish, and we teach. Things like um, like uh, learning how to have an email account, how to compose and reply and forward your me- emails, how to attach documents. How to not hit reply all. Yes. <laughs> <laughs> yes, that's a good point. Thanks for sharing that. <laughs> yeah. Has that happened to you? It's happened to me a little bit. I don't do that, okay. but other people do. I'm like, I don't really need to see all this. <laughs> No, I get it. And the other one is how to create your own resume, tips, tricks, how to format documents, bullets, and all the classes are conducted in Spanish. So uh, this is the third year I've been doing that, and uh, we have between 6 and 12 people show up on a Saturday morning at 10 o'clock um, when we do that. Well, it's, it's good information. And it's needed, I think. So uh, when you instruct them it. on how to do an email account, which one do you say are the preferred ones to have an account with? We uh, give them a choice of all three. And let, let them pick, and then we show them how to set it up, and we do it right there. So, AOL is pretty defunct. Is it? <laughs> I don't know that they mention AOL. Yeah, that's good. They should not. Um, <laughs> Hotmail, Gmail, Gmail works Yahoo. well. A lot of people uh, have Yahoo. Yahoo. Yeah, I wouldn't. Yeah, AOL. No, don't tell them that one. I don't, I don't think we do. It's kind of old. Okay, and the last so. adult thing I have is uh, using voting and election records oh, in your okay. genealogy research. Mm-hmm. So. And the reason we're doing that, that's, um, uh, that's located Wednesday, February 12th from 2 to 3.30. This is the only thing you have to register for with the genealogy department because they have all these handouts and stuff. So 2020 marks the 100-year anniversary of the passage of the 19th Amendment granting women the right to vote. Wow. Did you know that? No, I well, did not. we did, and we're going to have a program about that. <laughs> of course you did. <laughs> you guys know everything. <laughs> You're the source. And then, um, and also That's that, amazing. Yeah. Yeah, and also the second half of the program is going to be the 150th anniversary of the 15th Amendment granting all men the right to vote regardless of race. Wow, that's interesting. So So do you also register people to vote at the library? Can they do that? Uh, I have the forms that they can fill out and mail in. So, yes. Okay. So So. I, I know you're going to bring up taxes, aren't you going to bring that? taxes i might (laughs) that might be on my list (laughs) well that's a good point that you raise about taxes um again we're going to partner with vita and rita wilts and we are on my list okay we're going to do that um starting february and just so you know the irs has not sent in tax forms yet they have not done that we should probably get at the beginning of february so so i know the kickoff is um i believe january 31st that friday for the vita um kick off to help you with your taxes mm-hmm. and all of that yeah so and i'm sure she has several sites 
times and places, but she always coordinates it with the library. Yes. Because that's the main location for right. free tax service. Yes. Yes. Um, and if they need a list of what to bring, they can do that or check online with our website. Okay. So, so what else? Uh, that's... You have a lot of things. You have you talked about computer classes, and this is free, right? The computer classes. Yeah, everything's free. Everything's free. You just have to just the genealogy thing. You just have to register. Other up. than that, you can kind of show up. Mm -hmm. Really? Yes. Wow. Yeah. So. Um, yeah, it's for free. We don't do we don't do programs that aren't free. So. That's a good thing. <laughs> so right. it's kind of like, and I love to talk about this. You can go to ancestry.com and do all your genealogy, or you can go to the library for free free and find out about your ancestry yes right yes and there's people there that'll help you so you're very gonna, knowledgeable people yes if you're stuck we did a i did something with genealogy we did the first ever um, graveyard tour um crawl it was a graveyard crawl out in montgomery they had three or four graveyard sites and we set up a table and handed out free stuff wow <laughs> and they took pictures they had what they had is they had reenactors they were standing by their particular grave and like, yeah, this, this. Was this with the uh, Montgomery County Historical yeah. uh, Society? Yes. Okay. Yeah, so they were that all makes dressed sense. up and reenacted. It was very cool. I liked it. It was a beautiful day. So, Was it like for Halloween or? It was, yeah, it was in October, I believe it was. Okay. They kind of run together. I'm sorry. But. <laughs> it was near the Conroe Crawfish Festival. When is that? The Catfish Festival? Catfish, I'm sorry. <laughs> it's in downtown Conroe, uh, like the second weekend in october okay so right around there it's around that time you're not taking a swig of something no it's just water <laughs> it's water <laughs> okay it's needlecraft needlecraft uh -oh. let's talk about needlecraft okay well <clears throat> look at that look at all the colors look at that so this is crochet and i it's I made, pretty it's I very it, pretty i made it sorry about that i made it for um travel so I could be warm. Just throw something on. Yeah, when I was on the air, at the airplanes or airlines doing my thing. So, um, so um, there are several um, needlecraft uh, groups that meet at various um, locations. Mine is called Needlecraft A Good Yarn. And we note crochet and we knit there. So, so um, if you've never done it, can you go and learn there? Not really. No. We'll help you. We'll help you pick colors and get you started. But, yeah, it only meets twice a month, sadly. So you need more time. More practice. How long but, did it take you to learn? Uh, let's see. So I flew, you've been doing this for a while. Yes, I flew out to San Diego to visit my my stepmom, and she taught me. And so I would visit every three months. So it took me about oh, wow. six months. But that was before YouTube. Now I can just go on YouTube and watch them, and it's great. Uh, That's helpful. Well, it's pretty. <clears throat> Thank you. Yeah, that was fun. Um, so have you heard about Australia and the fires and all the animals and stuff? So they're um, asking for people to uh, knit little things like nests for the kangaroos and the wombats oh, and all that interesting. stuff so um i've talked kind of contacted them in my knitting group and they want to um, participate so so we're taking donations of yarn if you want to drop some yarn off at the library and just put my name on it devry johnson and i will uh, we will use it to make nests and things for the animals wow ship it up and send it off yes that's we, pretty amazing yeah we do a lot of craft and donation stuff they like to do that and my group does so so this is the new 2020 Montgomery County Memorial Library System. Yeah, colorful, are There's just aren't we? <laughs> stuff going on all the time, <clears throat> you know. And you also you can get books online. Yes, I, I can get free. Easy. Free. We have apps. Did you know we have apps? apps? Yeah, no, we had apps. We have a, <laughs> we have OverDrive, um, and Libby, and they download eBooks and e-audiobooks, and we have Hoopla Digital. And they also um, have uh, e-audiobooks. And then I think our latest one is RB Digital. And that's the latest app we have. And that does e-books, e-audiobooks, and some written um, music. So I love it. <laughs> I used to read all the time. I haven't had the time. And I'm trying to make the time. Because reading just takes you to different places. Yeah, all over the place, yeah. You yeah, know, it. it's an adventure. Plus, you can learn a lot and get <clears throat> inside and take your mind away from all the other stressful things that go on so yes, i encourage everybody and, to get a card i haven't can, used mine yet lately but i got the card and you can learn <laughs> well that's it you can you always learn you and learn we can, something we can help you download the app so you can get to reading right away because it's really great when you travel you can have like 10 books on your phone read whatever it's downloaded you don't have to wait for, you don't have to have an internet connection so all right so you want to go through the yeah. basics yeah let's talk about things 
Oh yeah, and by the way, we're on we're on Twitter, Pinterest, Facebook, and Instagram. Where do you get the most engagement? I am for me Facebook. For me, it's Facebook because of the it de- depends on the age range. Sure. So for the older ages, it's Facebook. For the you know middle and younger, it's Twitter and Instagram. Instagram, yeah. yeah. It's all about the age. You don't do Snapchat. They're talking about it. But really? Yeah. Okay. But I don't know if it, that's a, yes. Yeah, we're, we're talking about that sort of thing. So. Okay. Yeah. So how many uh, branches do you have? Eight? Seven. Seven. Do you want me to name them all? No, I'd you don't happy, have to do that. I'd be happy to. Okay, go ahead. <laughs> <laughs> I have it right here. Okay. Let's see if I can do it from memory. Okay, so we have the central branch, which is in Conroe. Right. And then we have um, uh, Med- the Meadow branch up in Willis. We have the Magnolia branch out in Magnolia. Yeah, we have two in the Woodlands, uh, the South Regional, which is by HEB near the Memorial or the Cynthia Mitchell Pavilion, and then the Mitchell Branch, which is in the back of the Woodlands. And um, we have New Caney. Uh, the Tullus? Li- the Tullus Library in New Caney. Have I covered it? Montgomery? You don't have one in Montgomery? Yes, Malcolm Purvis. Okay, That's there you go. <laughs> yes, that covers all the bases throughout the county. Yes. And you can even um, go in and it's not rent a room, but you can um, reserve a room for meetings mm-hmm. too as well Yes, at any of those locations the, those, if you need a meeting room. if Yes, but they have to be open to the public. And if you don't have a library card, we will charge you. Oh, well, there it goes. Always <laughs> circles back to the library card, <laughs> which is free, by the way, right? <laughs> yes. Yep, you Somebody needs show, to get a library card. Just show your picture ID and have a, something with your current address on it, like a driver's license or your electric bill. And anybody, It only takes minutes to get. Yes, and you don't have to fill out an application. We'll do it right there. And um, if you have children five and up, they can all get their own library cards. Yeah. And you can check out um, 30 items per card because wow. I, they're not just books. They're DVDs and CDs that you can order. And um, you can check them out for two weeks, all of them. And then we have a really cool pro- program now that um, if you have the book and you want to renew it, it'll automatically send you an email and say, hey, we can renew it for another two weeks if nobody's waiting for it. So you don't have to do anything. It'll just renew it for you automatically as a way to reduce um, fines. So It's nice. Yes. <laughs> What's the largest fine y'all have had? Uh, well, when someone loses a book, say if it's a big, huge book that, that costs hundreds of dollars to begin with, then... That's we have to buy it new again. Yeah. So, but uh, okay. but as for fines, if they they get over twenty five dollars, you stop your your way to um, uh, check out books and things. But you can pay five ten ten cents a dollar or whatever to get the fines down. So, and then I have you to all take this off. I'm just like, yeah. Take, go ahead and take it off. It was very pretty. So you have uh, friends of the library too. Is that where used books where you can turn in used books? Yes, you can don't. You can donate books to, to the library, and if we don't use it in the collection, we will give it to the friends of the library. There's a book nook right by the front door, and you can get books for 5 or $0.10. Cents. And um, what happens is with, with that money is they send it back to the library, and we use it for programming for children. So, so glean out all your old books that have been sitting on your shelves for years, like I have several. I was thinking about that last night, and turn them in so other people can read them and enjoy them. Yes, just do not bring me um, encyclopedias from the 90s because... Oh, my <laughs> gosh. Do people still do that? Yes, <laughs> because the friends of the library are older, and they can't lift all that heavy weight. So please don't do that. And if you happen to get something in the... Um, because of all the rains and the flooding, if you happen to find something in an um, attic, just throw it away, especially if it smells. Nobody wants to read smelly oh books. Oh, my gosh. So. so encyclopedias. We used to have the uh, Encyclopedia Britannica and all that stuff mm-hmm. in my house when the kids were young. Yeah. Oh, okay. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> yes, and we had to have it. I mean, it's just what you do, right? You have a family. you got to have encyclopedias. Yeah. Before computers, right? Oh, my gosh. <laughs> okay. So let's go over the uh, website again. It's, it, it's www.countylibrary.org. Easy. Yes. Easy. So you can go to their Facebook page or Twitter or Instagram, but the Facebook, you will see all the events listed there uh, that you can go and share. And um, there's only one you have to sign up for. Otherwise, just show up. Right. Use your library. Make that a goal for 2020. Use the library. Get your card. Okay, and, and Devery. Your kids. <laughs> Thank you so much. And uh, February is a new month. We're almost there, and that's Black History Month. And sounds like you have a great program coming up um, with the drummers and Gushness, all of that, yeah. and uh, the uh, Spanish blues. computer classes. Yes. So we appreciate you coming on. 
And uh, we'll see you next time. Yes. (laughs) That's the only way you see me, right? (laughs) Okay. That wraps up our show. I'm Margie Taylor, and this is sponsored by Roger Stein Chiropractic. Have a great day.